Okay, folks, we got to hustle. This man is busy. He's the commissioner of the World Food Championship, founder, brainchild. I don't know how to say troublemaker. it. Troublemaker. Yeah, troublemaker. <laughs> awesome advocate for this industry of food sport and really restaurateurs, backyard chefs, anybody that can cook something awesome. I just judged the bacon category. Thanks for having me again. It's a You're great welcome. experience every time. <laughs> We thought, let's debrief this a little bit for the podcast audience, the Peterson's Farms faithful. By the way, Wright's brand was the bacon they were cooking. Uh, Mike even says, hey, can I mention Wright's brand? I'm like, yes. <laughs> I love t- tough competition across capitalism. You know, right. it's kind of part of the deal. Right. What did you think? I mean, you had that crazy occurrence of one of the contestants getting ill. I uh, I think that w- that's the story of this this whole tournament right now. Um, Jack Mac- Mac- McMurray, I'll say that again, Jack McMurray, we call him Jack Mac. He was a world bacon champion in 2021. I think we used Peterson's bacon that's right. back then. And he's from St. Louis, and um, he has been busting his tail all week. He did a special event for us last night that was a private event. And during that event, he started feeling bad. And he was having to overcome that and still put out some fantastic food to make sure that our sponsors and our special guests were were uh, delighted. And then about midnight last night, he ends up going to the hospital, and he's having surgery today. I know. It's so um, what do you do in that situation, right? First of all, he powered through our event like a champion, always does. His team stepped up today. Got some guidance from him on what he would do with this last dish. Not only did they deliver on time, but they delivered excellently under all of our rules and with all that noise going on, which is, again, just a perfect embodiment of what I think makes this industry and the contestants in this industry, whether they're a professional chef, a home cook, a pro team, whatever it is, it makes them special because... They cook, they deliver. They show up, cook, deliver. Those are the three things. So I don't know where he's going to finish, but uh, just the fact that they did finish with all of that is is amazing. Now, seven incredible dishes were just presented to our judges. You were lucky enough to be one of them. Uh, I didn't get to taste all of them because I'm trying to oversee the results and the process and everything else. But uh, they looked amazing. Yeah. I mean, visually, everything's appetizing, meeting all of those eat standards uh, that right. you guys set it's forth for the judging crew. There it is. That's so you on. get to where you're splitting really hairs. You really you do. You really are, and it happens in any uber competitive thing. If it's showing cattle, if it's just pick anything, you're, you're splitting hairs. They're, they're all awesome. Everybody would love to eat that. This is our competitor. What is the it little thing you could find? So you know, so I'm sitting there thinking, Okay, if I'm looking for a hair, then I'm going to use bacon as my standard. Is it the most bacon dish? Is it the first thing I think when I see it is bacon? I think that's good, a good standard. Is it bacon forward, right? Or did they use bacon um, as an afterthought or as a piece of a big puzzle? I think if you're representing the bacon category, it's got to be the hero of the dish. So that's probably one of the things that will make a difference. Um, we do have three dimensions. You know, appearance, execution, taste, which, which stands for our EAT methodology. Uh, and we have five different judges. All might have a, a little personal bias or flavor going on there that maybe they maybe they like honey on that bacon. Maybe they don't. They're supposed to try to factor that out. They're trying to be as objective as they can. But it's hard. This is At the end of the day, we can put all the rules and regulations and processes, and we've got more than anybody else. And I think we do it better than anyone else. But at the end of the day, it's hard to pull away someone's core memory with bacon. Sure. <laughs> right? I mean, you, well, you know Food it. in general. Yeah. yeah. It's so hard. Well, it, we see that happening in every category, and that's why we bring expert judges in like you to help us determine who's going to be the champion. Because one of those contestants is going to win $10,000, Neil, and then they're going to go to our final table in May, which we'll be doing in Bentonville with Sam's Club. And they'll have a chance to win $150,000, the largest prize purse 
for our grand champion ever. Uh, That's a, a life-changing song, too. It is. Too. It is. Yeah. They become a, a bacon ambassador, yeah. a, a Mr. Bacon, a Miss Bacon, whatever it is at that, that point. And, um, you know, I, I'm thrilled that we've, we've got this platform. I'm thrilled that people are plugging in all over. Uh, for your fans and bacon fans out there in general, check out food competitions. Go to a barbecue competition. Go to a bacon challenge if you see it. And next year, come to the World Food Championships and, and check this out because it's amazing. Yeah. We don't have much time. Mike's already late. But thank you so much for your time. And, folks, go to the show notes. Look in the description. We're going to link you out to their website, all the cool things that we've mentioned here. And definitely come to the World Food Championship. I've spent three days here. And, you know, time, well, you never know. It's kind of like Jack Mac. It's like it's, life is crazy. You don't know when you're out of time. I've, these are, this is well spent time. It, it absolutely is. I promise you, you, you'll never look at food the same. You'll never look at chefs the same after you come to the World Food Championships. Neil, thank you so much for being here. Look forward to huddling with you more later. But as you said, I got to go this Go get them. Go get them. Thanks. Thank you.